Hey guys, Victoria here, and welcome back to the Geeky Sandbox. So if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can get more videos like this one. Before we get into our non-spoiler review over the movie Alita Battle Angel, I just wanted to tell you guys what's been going on with me. Um, so I've been away from my channel for, what, about two weeks? During that time, the reason I kind of took that small break was because I've been dealing with a lot of stuff um, in regard to being in a car accident. I was rear-ended on the highway um, the beginning of February, probably around, um, probably a little bit before I ended up trying to do my, or my uh, trailer reaction for Ma. Long story short, my car was totaled. The lady was from out of town. She was in a rental. There were all these different levels to things, uh, to the entire situation that I had to try to work through. And of course, uh, fortunately, I am blessed to be okay. Um, I wasn't injured. Um, I did go to the ER and everything, got my headache taken care of, everything's fine. Um, but yeah, so I've been dealing with the loss of uh, my car and just dealing with all that kind of stuff. And the, I was in the process of getting a new car and I was trying to get an apartment and just a lot of things kind of fell through. And so I was dealing with a lot with trying to get things back to what felt like normal. Um, but yeah, so thank you for bearing with me and thank you for uh, continuing to continuing to watch and share my videos. I really do appreciate it. But anyways, guys, with all of that stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the movie. So as a belated Valentine's Day kind of date, uh, Steven and I went to go see Alita Battle Angel. And it was, it was very interesting. It was very good. And for those of you who don't know exactly what the movie is about, let me go ahead and read you some kind of synopsis. Better yet, instead of me reading a synopsis, let me try to muster up exactly the best synopsis from this movie having seen it. So Alita Battle Angel is about this kind of uh, dystopian post, uh, not post-apocalyptic, but very futuristic kind of world, but it is very dystopian. And you have like this weird piece of land floating in the sky. You have a lot of stuff falling from it, junk, uh, people who have passed on. And by these people, I mean androids. So one day a doctor who goes around and just fixes up um, the different kind of people in the world that have robot arms and who are completely made of robot parts and things like that. Uh, he finds um, just the body, like the head of uh, who he eventually names Alita. He rebuilds her and this movie is pretty much about her discovering her past and who made her and who's watching her. So that's a good way to tell you guys what it's about without giving too much away. But it was a really good movie. It does fall in that sci-fi fantasy adventure category, which uh, was very pleasant. It was a de definitely a change of pace because you guys know I love my thriller and horror movies and my superhero action movies. So it was definitely nice to get out and see something different. And from what I do know and from what I've heard, I know Alita Battle Angel is uh, a manga. It's uh, an anime. I did actually see it at Barnes & Noble not that long ago. Um, so I don't know. That may be something I go back and read just so that way I can kind of get a sense of what they cut, what they didn't cut, what they may do um, moving forward and things like that. So the movie was written by James Cameron and you guys know James Cameron, Avatar, Terminator, uh, Titanic, like all those great iconic movies that really did well at the box office. So you guys know James Cameron if you've at least heard of or seen any of those three movies. But the movie was directed by Robert Rodriguez and that's exactly who I wanna to talk to you guys about. Robert Rodriguez, who is a Texas native, whoop whoop. He did Spy Kids, he did uh, From Dusk from Dusk to Dawn, to Dawn, which is one of my favorite movies. He also did, um, ooh, Sin City. Just, and so you kind if you've seen any of those or you've heard of those, you kind of get that this movie was made for him. Like he was the perfect person picked for this movie because I can see some influences from Spy Kids. I can even see some influences from uh, Sin City. And of course you can kind of uh, pick up a bit of a very dusk to dawn kind of vibe and just, you know, a few of that, a little bit of that tone sprinkled throughout the movie. It was very interesting just to see those two kind of come together, which I'm not sure if they have in the past, it's possible that they have, but for me, this is the first time I got to experience the both of them together. And I truly enjoyed it. Like, I really feel like 
Robert Rodriguez might actually be one of my favorite directors. Like, this is just a new revelation for me. You can tell that he worked very closely with these actors and these performers and made sure that they got to put their bit of um, charisma into these characters and that his vision was still played out and that he was able to properly bring James Cameron's script to life or at least his adaptation of Alita Battle Angel to life. Uh, so I do think that they made a very great team. Overall the script did flow very nicely. Um, there, it wasn't too choppy. The movie didn't feel very long. Um, it was enjoyable and I don't know I, I didn't find myself like I always do uh, or like I always talk about uh, checking my watch and seeing what time it is and things like that. Um, Steven and I were thoroughly enjoying the movie and kind of making comments like we normally do whenever we see movies and things like that but this was something that um, I think we both really enjoyed and personally um, something that I wasn't expecting to enjoy just because of I wasn't familiar with it and I wasn't quite sure if I was gonna like it because I do love uh, dystopian or post -poc uh, post apocalyptic world type movies and books and I do like things where androids are kind of involved but I just wasn't sure how I was gonna like this movie and I'm pleasant I was pleasantly surprised and I'm happy that I did. In regard to the script another thing I want to mention is there were a few moments where you the characters knew things that they may have that they shouldn't have known if that makes sense, they knew things they shouldn't have known. Like there was some kind of cut or some kind of disconnect. Or let's say for a small example, someone knew where someone lived, though they hadn't had that kind of conversation. That's a weird example. Um, but just to give you that kind of idea. So there were weird moments like that where we would kind of be like, oh my God, how did they know that? Or you as, you as an audience member were expected to just kind of relax and just take the fact that this character knew this big piece of information that they couldn't have known or that we didn't get to see them um that we didn't get to see them discover or that they just magically knew so there were moments like that quite a bit throughout the movie they were kind of awkward but i don't think it ruined the entire movie it kind of left you wanting more and that's very good like in a good way and kind of a bad way there were a few things that i wish they would have elaborated more on in terms of the the antagonist and a little bit more on that because the, the antagonist is very present throughout the movie but at the same time they aren't and so for those of you who will see the movie, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Or for those of you who have seen it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. There was a thing too, like the relationship between two characters, it went very fast. And that just goes all back to the script again, in regard to like, you're adapting a book, you're adapting a manga. And I just feel like there's, you can't just put everything out there. Sometimes you have to split it into two movies or sometimes you have to just cut out what's not important. And sometimes the, uh, the film does suffer in some ways. They cut what they could without taking away the entire story. In regards to cinematography, that was one of the other things I really wanted to talk about. The sounds, I'll talk about both of those kind of simultaneously. The cinematography was beautiful. The CG was beautiful. I thought at first maybe looking at the main character with her big anime eyes that I was going to kind of be like kind of taken out of the movie but I wasn't um, just looking at her like she was any other android worked perfectly um, I really like the way a lot of the action scenes were done and the CG and all those scenes they look nice flawless and clean and you can definitely see that the cinematography team definitely worked very closely with De Niro. De Niro. Oh, I said De Niro. Ah! Wrong Robert Rodriguez on this one. And in regard to the sound, I love the like hustle and bustle of this town that they were living in or this temporary world that they were on uh, or planets, whatever you want to call it. You just kind of hear like the dirt on the road and the cars driving on top of it and you know the sound of kids running and the sound of rollerblades just um, I don't know, skating across cement and things like that. So they were very, they paid very close attention to the types of sounds uh, that they put in each scene because they did want to kind of pull or draw a certain emotion from the audience members that were watching. What do I rate Alita Battle Angel? It was an overall enjoyable movie. There were a few things that kind of take you out in a moment in regard to characters knowing things that maybe they should know yet. Um, but like I said, that's just something that you can eventually overlook. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a like rating down below. And of course, if you're new to the Geeky Sandbox, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can get more non-spoiler and maybe sometimes spoiler reviews like this one. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!